Okay, here is something nice. It's a, a prototype figure from 2002. It's Efont Man. And this is a massive figure. Uh, even carded, this one's quite hard to find and it's quite pricey as well. So, Efont Man. This is an unpainted prototype. It has the date stamp on the bottom. Uh, it comes in about three main colours, four colours if you include the accessory. Uh, as you can see the head's face isn't painted, it's that face is sort of a creamish colour. And then the hands are the same colour. Then the arms and the sort of overcoat or, or a cloak are a brown colour. And then the legs and the tail are a light sort of blue colour. And this is a really nice item. So, you know, definitely a lot cheaper in the UK than in the US. So, because I checked on Brian's toys how much these things go for, and his, the one he's got is what much more expensive. So, here's E Font Man. It's heavy to hold this figure, it just weighs a ton. This must be this and, um, What's his name from 2007? Uh, Hermie Oddle. Is it Hermie Oddle? I think it's Hermie Oddle. Those two of them must be the biggest vintage, fi uh, modern Star Wars figures. I mean, the biggest out of the vintage line would have been out of Mana Man, I think so. I think. And then, but this guy is just hefty. Okay, so great figure. His jaw moves up and down. A uh, fly got. Flyguy.net does a great review of this figure, so if you want to check that out, check that out. Uh, his hands twist a little bit, they're quite stiff. Arms move up and down. If you notice the arms swivel quite close to the face, he comes with this sort of uh, axe thing. He's one of Jabba's, I think he's the chi uh, Jabba's chief of security. Uh, and you see this guy in Return of the Jedi. It's a great figure. Uh, I've got this one carded. It's way, you know. If you've got one of, the, if you've ever held this figure, you can really see how much. It's a solid piece of plastic. Uh, the head rotates, but it's really stiff. But it does rotate there. The arms move, the legs move, but there's limited movement there. The feet have really nice. Uh, detailing on that, there's a bluish tail, and you know, this is E Font Man, what a classic prototype, uh, huge, huge figure, weighs a ton. It's hard to help keep him upright as well because he tends to lean forward. So, but even the regular figure of this is worth. Uh, tracking down because it's just such a hefty, hefty figure, uh, and it's a classic figure. It's 10 years old now. This figure, and look at it, just uh, one of the best figures they ever released. Ethan Man plus uh, Hermie Oddle. These are two standout figures from 10 and 5 years ago. Thereabouts. Uh, let's see if I can. This uh, axe is in two pieces. Oh, let me just take it out of his hand. Oh gosh. Okay, so the axe or the vibro blade or whatever it is is in two pieces. You can pull that piece out and then you can push it back in. I don't know on the regular figure how this was painted, but it's quite a nice item. And then here's the figure. E font man. Uh, keep your mouth. Mouth a bit kind of tends to droop open. But what a figure. He, he had about two seconds screen time in Return of the Jedi. But this is a great, great figure. So E font man. Uh, 2002, 2003. Saga blue card. Return of the Jedi. Jabba's Chief of Security. What a figure. Great, great figure. It looks uh, really 
great. Heavy, heavy figure as well. So, try to track this one down. Any version of this figure is going to be great. Even if you get the regular version, you're going to love this figure. Just because it's so heavy, and you know you're getting... You feel you're not getting ripped off with this figure because it weighs so much. So, e -font man. I'm going to take some photos. I thought my camera would have run out by now, the memory card, but it's still going. So I'm going to take some pictures and then that's it. And that's the end of this fantastic haul. Let's take some pictures. Okay. <coughs> One more look at this great figure. So, e -front man should be too hard to find. Uh, and there seems to be a lot of uh, Saga Attack of the Clones prototypes around and you can get, get them not too expensive in the UK. And there's a lot of stuff in China but I've never bought from China so I don't know. But this is E-Front Man. You just look at the detail in the face. What a great figure. Substantial weight to this figure. It's either him or, or um, Hermie Oddle, that other, they're going to be the biggest vintage modern Star Wars figure, or Star Wars figure of all time. So, you know, that that is sold carded, that is. Or maybe, um, what's his name from the draw, uh, Clone Wars, that, uh, what's his name? You know, the, the, um, the one that was available at Toys R Us, sort of, uh, robot character or cyborg 